Hello guys, this is your weekend shooting assignment and it is drawing overlays. So I'm going to look at the PowerPoint, I'll link this PowerPoint as well. And it's going to have a lot of different images that give many different examples, but of course you're free to be as unique and as creative as you want to be. So interpret it in any way you want. We're going to take any photography that you have taken and you have shot yourself, nothing from online or other artists, please. And you are going to manipulate it in any way you like. So this person probably had some strings holding the hair up and then digitally edited them out and then drew the butter or the birds. So I think that's quite clever and fun and whimsical. Um, you can do a drawing overlay, have just a fun thing. You could do a career-based thing. Um, just have fun. Maybe there could be little crabs coming up and, you know, going to attack her or something, whatever you think could be kind of fun to do. Or, on a more artistic note or creative in a different way, you could do a drawing overlay that literally just describes the contours of the face and goes over how you know the shading and some of the feature lines and it's quite beautiful so that could be an option for you if you don't know what else to do you could make it a little more surreal like you're on the right and have something you know kind of a little more um, fantastical and or you could do something on the left and make an expressive you know it says with the words all I want is what I can't have clearly referring to the jacket but it can be anything it could be you know with the situation you're in right now and your frustration with that you can use words and images as long as you're digitally painting them in and you can see the two here this is a little more artistic and a little more um, you know, just playing with line and pattern repetition and then overlay so they muted the image in the background so that the contour lines would pop out more so you're free to do something like that you can also do a direct contour line add another layer and do a contour line drawing and then just shift it like you see they have done and they've done a little more digital painting so you're free to actually paint <clears throat> here's some other examples you can digitally edit out parts of your picture and then go ahead and add some more artistic things into it or do more of contour drawing like with a pop of color it doesn't have to be black or white you could have fun with it and digitally paint in something graphic looking and you know it could be something pouring on someone it could be something like this it could be you're watching a cartoon and the characters are jumping out on out of from the TV it doesn't have to be with a person that's just a little easier because of their expressiveness you can see how they did a little more like 80s style painting but feel free to interpret it however you want and this one has just a lot of the different shapes that you can do you can use the shape tools so you're gonna go to the pixlr.com and I've gone into the E I can go back you can do advanced E or playful X um, the Playful X doesn't have very many options and if you are used to doing Photoshop that's what I would suggest so I'm going to open it up I have a picture of myself that I've edited a few times you can see I've downloaded some here and so I'm gonna use the full HD apply what I would do is I'm going to like you could use the wand you see how it grabs a ton um, you can lower the tolerance and try to grab less and just delete and delete and delete but I find that's really difficult with some images so I'm just gonna click and get rid of it and I'm gonna use my lasso tool and I'm gonna delete and then you can fill in your background or add a 
black or whatever you want to do, add another layer. Um, but otherwise, the um, what I would suggest if you use your magic wand is the blur and soften the edges because then it won't look so harsh with that feature line. So it's really up to you. You can take your paintbrush and do very similar things to what you would normally do. Um, change the colors, paint bucket in, however you want to do it. It can be completely expressive, thick and thin lines, going over top, however you want it to be. Um, you know, and play around with it. But I've done a few different examples of things that I think are, um, that I've done. You can paint bucket fill. All the shape tools are here. So you see your shapes up here, the opacity, the size, the thickness, the stroke is the thickness of the shapes you want. Okay, and then the line tool is here. If you want to do some strange lines going in and out. And remember you have your history over here, so Alright, so really quickly, and then of course, um, you can save it, use a JPEG, rename it, and then download it. And here are two examples. The first one, I just did a contour drawing on top, and I liked the black, so I painted in the black, and I liked the black and white um, differentiation, the contrast there. So it's, you know, not too complex, but I like it. And then this one I was a little more artistic and I decided to do like something that's coming off, dripping off my fingers. And then I did some patterns and the pop of the yellow I really liked because it added a lot of contrast. So really it's totally up to you where you're going to go with this, what you're going to do. You could have a picture, a uh, student in my years past had a picture of some, her their little brother holding an ice cream and was about to lick it and she digitally painted where it, it had fallen over and it gotten all over and it was all gooey and you know, it's a, you can have fun. Your, a dog could be pretending and barking at something and there's little pixies in the air drawn or something fantasy based. So. Have fun with it guys and um, email me or put on Google Classroom any comments that you have, but otherwise um, really just have fun and enjoy and if you get stuck, take a, pic a picture of it and send it to me and I will help you out, okay? Miss you guys. Have a good one.